Hey, it's Rich Miller from richmilleronline.com and this video is a follow-up to a video I shot last week where I was a little frustrated, kind of getting tired of getting a lot of spam in my email and um, you know the video was titled Spam, How Not to Build a List and you know maybe it uh maybe it's something that would uh, hit home with you or that you can relate to maybe you've been on the receiving end of uh, a lot of spam emails lately or maybe you're one of them that's doing it wrong um but this video series that i'm going to shoot will take you through uh the life of building a list how to do it correctly you know take you through each step and the reason i want to shoot this because a lot of people say you need to build a list the money's in the list and if you go about it wrong you've really wasted a lot of time and a lot of money and you might get frustrated and just quit so i want to save you that pain of going through those steps and taking them in the wrong direction so with all the bells and whistles that we have out and um, that that are available now to us you know a lot of these you know uh, apps and push button and you know kind of like the easy button to do things the one thing you can't shortcut is building a good solid list because honestly, if you build a list that's not um, targeted correctly and you know you, you throw some money at it and you've got the wrong subscribers, you're not going to have anything. As a matter of fact, it's just going to cost you more to have those subscribers sitting there until they unsubscribe. So in this, uh, in this series, we're going to talk about, in Module 1 tonight, we're going to talk about creating a large, massive, and money-making list. And why, what I mean by that you know is you know you know with the right list you can make you know a great return on your investment the wrong list again it can be just useless it could be like having the yellow pages or the white pages there and uh you know you might just get just as good of uh results of uh, out of having a bad list as you would use any yellow pages and start cold calling so first question i get you know is why do you need to have a list well whether you're an internet marketer network marketer um, you need to have an audience. You need to have, you know, subscribers that are in, in, that are interested in you and your product. So, you know, having a list, yes, it's truly freedom because once you have that list, that's a list that stays with you until they get tired and go away. So, as long as you're offering the right, the right product and and value, that list is going to stick with you, and there'll be buyers over and over. You know, having a list gets you paid. Bottom line, you know, it's right back to the money. It's not just freedom, not, you know, not just time, but the freedom, you know, the, the, that it gets you paid at the push of a button. You know, you send out your list, you know, and, and depending on how many subscribers you have, you have a thousand, maybe you get 10, maybe you get 15, maybe you get two, or maybe a hundred people that buy that product. But it's how you approach a list and how you build it. Initially, the foundation is going to determine whether everything else works. You can have some the greatest product you can have the greatest cop, copy that you're using in your emails you can have the greatest system but without the correct foundation you've got nothing so some of the critical keys for a profit a profitable list is one you need to focus on the, the right target audience the right market and what i mean by that if you're in health and wellness and you um maybe you buy uh traffic or um, you do some type of paid traffic and you target the wrong audience. Maybe you target uh, um, self-development. Well, maybe self-development people really aren't the right target market if you're looking for um, some type of weight loss product that you're selling, you know, an audience to buy that. So you've got to be very clear on who your audience is before you even think about driving traffic, right? And you got to have traffic because without traffic, you're not going to have anything. Um, but you got to focus on the markets where people buy your stuff, where they're interested. And they've just got to have what, you know, they got to want what you sell. Um, and, you know, not only in, in your list are you trying to sell, but you need to offer value. People, as a general rule, I know myself, I don't like to be sold. Um, but I like to receive value. And if I see a perceived value in someone's list that I'm on, maybe I get uh, some free training out of it. Maybe they uh, continually offer very solid, good products that I really am interested in and can relate in. I'm more apt to purchase from that person. So, you know, having a list is building relationships also and providing good value. Um, 
another part of building the list is frequency. You know, how often are you emailing your list? You know, sometimes I go through a phase and I will stop emailing my list. So then it takes me longer to get my, get, uh, my list uh, re-engaged with me because I forget who you are. So you've got to determine how often you're going to mail your list. Um, you've got to figure out where your traffic's going to come from to build that list. That's huge. And again, it goes right back to the focus markets. You know, where are you marketing your, where do you want people to subscribe from? Where do you want to get your audience from? You know, I can give you an example. A lot of people buy lists. They'll see uh, they'll see a list for sale, or they'll buy a spot. You know, in a, in a solo ad, and we'll get into those more more in the next modules. But one of the things I see is somebody will buy a list. Well, if that list again is maybe a self development, or it's a, a work at home mom list, or you know, depending on how that list was built, you buy the wrong list, and you're pitching a product that isn't or offering a product, maybe it's the best way to put it, but if you're pitching a product that they're not interested in, what do you have? And you know, to talk a little bit more about purchasing lists, you gotta think about where the list came from, why, they're, why it's being sold. If you're picking up a list, and again by list I mean a group of subscribers, right, that have subscribed, maybe that list has been burnt out already. Maybe it's been, you know, they've just pounded it for three or four years and they're not getting any results from or very minimal and maybe they've sold spots on their list where other people sent their products out and pitched them and people get tired of that um, and they disengage and they unsubscribe or they just block the list so you gotta think about that you gotta like I said so, so you, you can't take a shortcut when you're building a list I guess is what I'm trying to tell you and you have to have traffic and you know and that's probably one of the biggest things. If you don't have the right traffic, you're not going to do anything with your list. You're just going to have, a, like I said, a lot of subscribers that aren't interested in your product. So it's always that front end. How did they get into the list? Um, building a list, you know, doesn't involve scraping emails from Facebook or, you know, some of these other apps that can go out and grab a bunch of emails. Because again, these people did not ask to be on your list. They, you know, you're putting them on the, your list and it's really, it's really not right. And in most cases, it's probably legal. So, you know, if the one point out of this module I want to talk about is, you know, or make, or that you take home with you is you got to have the right target audience and they're going to want to have to buy something or they're interested in what you're, um, what you're selling, what you're training about. You know, so list again isn't just about selling; it's about building relationships, providing value, and really um, developing kind of your own community of followers that um, look forward to opening up your emails and seeing what type of um, value that you're going to provide for them. Um, you know, some of the other lists uh, that we can talk about that if you're looking at purchasing a list, um, again, I don't recommend it. Or if you're or are you looking to buy a spot on someone's list, a buyer's list can be very valuable. But again, if you buy or if you you you, you know buy a, a list, which would be a group of subscribers that are uh, accustomed to buying self development products, and you're in weight loss, the odds are they're not going to be interested in you. And as a matter of fact, they're probably going to feel betrayed when you do buy a list and you start emailing your product because they're going to want to know who you are. So because you didn't build that initial value, you didn't. Um, um, you know, build that relationship with the list. So in this module, big takeaways, you know, definitely value is very important. Your target audience is very important. Um, you know, and really, you know, where you're going to get your traffic from to build this list. So we're going to talk a little bit more about the fundamentals of list building and how to actually the mechanics of doing, uh, putting together lead capture pages and um, using the right software like Aweber, like you see here, um, to, to build your list and to communicate with your list as we go forward in each module. So hopefully uh, you got some value from this. And like I said, it's just kind of a quick overview, module one, about having a list. And, you know, it, believe me, creating a large, massive, and money-making list is where it's at. Because as that list grows and the more targeted it is, you know, the more um, return on your investment that you're going to get. And um, it's going to make 
um, duplicating um, efforts so much easier because you've already got the target audience there. So again, uh, module one, creating a large, massive, and money-making list. Um, is a wrap for today. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you're interested in checking out more of what I do, click, click the link down below and uh, check me out. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video for module two of you know, creating a massive and money-making list. Have a great evening. Thanks.